So what's up guys, how you doing? Welcome back. This is your boy again, Adam Slink. I hope so, you're okay. Good morning, afternoon, evening, depending on where you guys are watching this video from. And make sure you like this video, comment, share it with your loved ones, your enemies, your lovers, everybody you wish to share it with. And uh, look, I'm man, thank you very much for joining us again. Thank you say joining us. If I say thank you, it's not proper, B. You are part of the family. Hmm? Yeah, but now join, join, join. <laughs> join, join. So let's talk about Aruga and Bansi. Bansi. Buju, go to person name. Now Iran come out. Now they tell us they go sue like fool. Iran come out. Well, Ruga and Bensi, ah, thank God, you know we want this kind of uh, coming together to do music. We never expect Ruga and Bensi to ever for this like me. I don't expect the say Afro big will ever join Ruga and Bensi because of that time they be fighting about who is the richest. That good fight be that who? Who has more money? Who is breaking more records and everything? But now they have dropped that fight behind them and they are about to drop a new sound coming really, 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 really soon. And they sound bad because two of them good. Two of them good. Two of them good. You know, Ruga now is now independent. Two of them good. You know, he don't come up for his contract so he can work with anybody. You know, if you, I don't know. If you they listen to Ruga music, in mm. music you always in form of one music, one in form of swag. In music they get swag somehow. And best is to the guy good too, so, man. The combination will make sense. Go sweet. Go sweet. Go sweet. So now uh the main discussion here is Mobat's wife versus Mobat's father. And again, it's more than six months now. I mean, don't yeah, he's only May so reason. continue to rest in paradise. May God forgive him his sins, his shortcomings, and everything. Amen. And may God uplift his family and make things better for his family. Amen. But meanwhile, there have been some uh, still talking and accusations coming from the wife versus the father. The wife kind of like narrated how they kid Mubad. Hmm? She never talk and before now, she won't talk. See, the thing... That's the same story or another fresh one? He says, no, on fresh story. The thing be said... Make she do DNA test. Make she rest. Make she rest. Now she said, they silenced my husband by spreading rumors that he was on drugs. And now they have been targeting me by releasing a voice note I recorded a few years ago for medical purposes. They are attacking our only child by labeling him an, as illegitimate. My husband was messed up mentally psychologically and physically if he had continued speaking publicly about his challenge he asked, would have be still be alive today yeah like you no know, portable they talk any like nobody feel really portable and portable is still alive i wish he had summoned the courage to come public as many times as he could but he didn't want anyone to see his vulnerability he was a gentle and calm soul. Making a man feel inferior, making him live in fear, assault him publicly amongst others is what they subject my husband to. The last time they attacked him, I begged him to speak out, but he felt powerless against the influence of the industry gods. Mobad would have sought, would have sought medical treatment after his injury. If he didn't live in constant fear, he avoided hospitals because he believed the medical system could be compromised and doctor bribed to harm him. I know a lot, but they won't allow me to speak my truth. Ah, your man, your husband don't die. Which other truth again? Okay? Talk! No, we should, we we should, should, should be saying, no, we should talk this one now. Now she did. Hey, we should talk and finish now. Talk and finish. So she continues, she said, your favorite fake activists and bloggers can continue defaming me, but I pray God rewards them for their actions. Ah, what till we do that? Amen. Uh, there, Monk. Amen. We don't judge now. till we read now, we talk. Wait till we read now, we talk. If they eventually kill me too, like they did Mubad, just know I said it. It may not be direct. So many things have happened since I lost my husband, yet I can't speak. I, I talk! Madam, she now she say the husband in fear. They kill him. Why she took on the fear? Which she no want to talk. She continues. She said, "I am helpless, but I know 
God will see me through this. I want the whole world to know that I tried to speak up, just as my husband always wanted to, but they bullied me, bullied him to silence, as they are currently doing to me. <laughs> the DNA issue is one that has brought tears to my eyes and pain to my heart. And my legal team had advised me not to dignify anyone with a response. However, I feel compelled to address the misunderstanding rise, arising from my silence. Let me clarify. There has never been any doubt or discussion about Liam's paternity until my husband dismisses her. It is disheartening to hear false narratives circulating on social media. My husband never for once questioned the paternity of our sunshine during his lifetime. Neither did my husband, in-laws, or his family. The first time I heard about his doubt was on social media. He never spoke to me personally about the DNA till this very day. Ah, no, the father, the father-in-law, they talk about things for DNA. <laughs> my father-in-law legal team reached out to my legal team who then gave him the terms and condition in which the DNA will be conducted. Since November, I have been waiting for a court order to proceed with the DNA test. However, I am now being asked to take Liam to my father-in-law so that the test can be done. Which of you will take your son to such a man in this circumstance? If you were in my shoes, Will you feel safe to take your son to a man who has come online to defame your character and lie of you? You have, you, are, you have all seen the causes and threats made on my son's enemies. Yet, some of you are telling me to expose my son to further potential harm. The recklessness, social media bullying and threats have made it impossible for me to even take Liam out in public safely. All I ever did was love, selflessly, and expected nothing in return. Yet, this is the cruel, cruel re reality I now face. Liam is our sunshine and the only precious gift God left me with. I will protect him with every ounce of my blood and until my last breath. Honestly speaking, uh, before I talk the father side, then, uh, Mobad wife, please, if you may see this, uh, nobody cares about Mobad's father. Now, you need the public sympathy. I will advise you honestly, honestly, from the bottom of my heart, eh, go and do a DNA test on your own if you have the money. Eh, and possibly share the DNA test to the public. Yeah. I bet you everybody go back you up. The only reason they are backing Mubarak's father is because of that DNA test. Yeah. Nothing more. And why will you, if they told me they carry your son, your son go meet uh, Mubarak's father, which call they grant like that kind of thing? That is a lie. Which call they told say carry your son go meet Mubarak's father? They told us make you choose hospital, you now go there. Independent hospital, somebody will pay for it. You now go there, do the test, and you carry your son, go back. Yeah. All those things are flimsy lies. And you say you know one talk. You they talk already. You say you know one talk. Based on all what she talk, if not true, she say she be the tell her husband where her husband come out. Which mm. not true. We say Mubabi come out that year. That guy for their life now. Because Imagine say I want hurt you. You don't run go as I say I want hurt you. I go fear to hurt you now. So Muba made that mistake. Now she will the time Muba when Muba come out then when Muba no come out. She no one can come out now. Then how we the people now how we we go take notice that they threaten them now. If they pay him, they don't pay him. We don't know. We don't know who pay him. Now that Muba now we know we point finger. We they point father. We they point Marian. We they point the wife. Which, if you say Muba come out, fully say, you see who they threaten me here, Muba can't die. Everybody has the right to point finger at that people. So now you, you don't know who they threaten you. Why not come out? You, ask, you can say that. Why can't you say that? Come out. 
Oh, Muba Fire, they threaten you. Mana see they threaten you. Muba Mother, they threaten me. Ah, why? Oh, do do the any test, madam. Ah, now do the the. You know why this matters is there? <laughs> now because DNA is. <laughs> because if DNA don't come out, they will know maybe that Muba get the picking or not. But I don't. Me, I'm sure that Muba get that picking. Me, I see the me I see the doubt and shadow. Nah, 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 nah. Muba see the face now. You Baba Nala, Muba that boy no resemble Muba for. You resemble Muba Baba. Nah, nah. Some regards that boy carry. Take ah. it out for my own eye. She's the boy head now. Ah! I beg, go make me fuck or get that talk. So, now, make me. How are you saying you don't fear? May I tell you what I see? <laughs> now, what do you see? Now, I yeah, yeah, talk now. I know, see. I'll be telling you, if I tell you my picket resemble you, go. Eh? Eh? I'll tell you how. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> okay now let's talk about uh, the other matter coming from Obas father. He responded, he said, I am curious about what you know. You <laughs> mean? <laughs> he said it's a shame and a disgrace and embarrassment for you as a wife to continually seek public sympathy and use emotional blackmail all on me as a father the entire family of Aloba and the well-meaning public on the case of my son whom to date no one know what and who took his life is, is in his prime I want to ask you if you were in my son's shoes, would your family not ask him questions? Yes. <laughs> yes, no. Who are the they that want to silence you about telling me what happened to the son I suffered to raise when no one was there? Even if we have our differences, does the death of my son worth it? A whole life and you are playing around like a game? They say who be the people made the threat you. Talk you now. Let me talk. Talk her out. Because on the very good day, if, any, if that guy can measure any name, that guy is free. Nobody go touch him. He say, he continues, say, whatever name you, your son, my grandson, is being called, stick on me because he still has the name Liam Aloba. Not Liam Ade Bojo. Everything you are saying, they make my son. Mobad feel is what you are making Liam go through because of your irresponsible behavior. You said I know a lot, so I am curious. You had the opportunity as the at the corona inquest to see everything you know. I am asking I, I am asking who and what stop you from saying what you know to your father in law and well many public. Thank God you said there has never been any doubt or discussion about Liam paternity until your husband dismissed. Why then did you tell me to do DNA for my son? Was there any time my late son told you I was not his father? Can you tell him if he was still alive? You disrespected him even till death by calling him a bastard. <laughs> yeah, call Let him, by call him Mubad, Mubad, Mubad bastard. Now the wife call Mubad bastard. Yeah, I want you to talk. Let this be the very last time you dent my image and cost me of soliciting funds. How much have you given me since, your, since my late son died? When governor or other celebrity gave you money, did I insult you or did you give me cover from it? Just the way those who gave you money did with their discretion, the same way God has showed me mercy, through well meaningful people in this hard time. And let me clear this I have never sent anyone to bully you. Rather, you are doing all you can to silence those seeking justice for my lesson. People who take to your side have been circulating my pictures and some others subjecting them to public ridicule. Wumbi, I challenge you to tell the world what you know about my son's death. And I want the world to know that until you tell me what and who killed my son, no one is safe with you. And Come out and say who, who they treated you, who know them. <laughs> what you imagine say you they treating me and I now that woman just stress that matter. Yes now. Do the any test of it don't matter, don't finish. 
If you do DNA test, everything will finish. Now the DNA test they hold the matter now. Oh, we do not own your daughter and our mobile daughter. I will donate money to the mother. Oh, now no mobile get her. She will collect. 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 But if that will bad, you are free. Even though now she will not tell you, she will not say. Some people may insult me based on what I want to say now. If you say I'm about to get that picking, if that girl, they show saying I'm about to get that picking, that girl, for, she for don't use her money to do any test. You say now, that lawyer. woman, that woman, you say get, now lawyers. that woman, that woman, that lawyer, <laughs> now lawyer, they did this, so as we call now, we call lawyer name, no people mean it with the call. <laughs> so on the very good day, if she no get that true mind, if that woman is sure that it's about to have that baby, ah, ah bro. I go wrong. Now, now 500 million they do the DNA test. You know, rich, yeah. you know rich one million. So what, what are we talking about? So okay. man, that guy must say no female person talk for her. Go do the DNA test. Go do the test. <laughs> so that's the thing. They know who allowed the guy race. What they do? What they finish this guy kids with the guy race? Do the DNA test so that you uh, so that public will support you. Oh mm. man, she don't so know. guys, I uh, thank you very much for watching and uh, very uh, very. You dark. be very dark, man. Very local man, bro. Very local man here. Plus your guard, I'm slim. Thank Peace. you.